you know, that one fight there I got on uh, the way it's in the movie slap shot, eh, where the own the own country won't won't accept them because I got deported. Yeah, yeah. But that actually happened. I was in the, we were, I was playing junior hockey. They asked us. The senior team asked Lee Fogel and Billy McDonald and myself to go play because they were short players in in uh, in Madison, Wisconsin. And so we fly we we're flying out of Green Bay, and. Uh, um, a lefty current. I ended up playing hockey with him. He was a goaltender. They got the silver medal that year. In uh, what was his nickname? A double shooter. Go <laughs> on, tell them why. He had two holes in the end of his dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, we're going off the ice, and I said, "Oh, they should have given you another medal because we beat them, eh?" So we go to the airport in Green Bay, and we weren't well, we weren't even old enough to drink. Yeah, but we go in the bar with the older guys, the senior team guys, and they're feeding us uh, white Russians and silver bullets, and I was just shit faced. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we get on the, we get in the plane, and this guy named Billy McHugh, um Billy McEwen, I never liked him, and me and him got into it, and so uh, his buddy he jumped me too, so I got in with the two of them, and we're down on we we started on the plane, and we ended up on the runway fighting. <laughs> The cops come. They try to break it up, and what happened? When I was throwing a punch, my hand got caught in the cop's jacket. So I pulled that, and I ripped his jacket. So they arrested me. Oh shit! You're fighting right on the tarmac. Yeah, right on, you had to divert traffic, air traffic. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, and then uh, they take me to jail. I spend the night, and then the deportation officer comes. He picks. He's an older fellow. Picks me up, and I was only a kid. He said, "Come on, I'll take you around before you have to take you to the bus stop, bus station." So he took me to show me where Bart Starr house was yep. took me to Lambeau Field oh cool so it was a, it was a pretty good outing nice <laughs> but, but they, they, just think about this for a second I wrote this in the book just, just, uh, uh, there's several points in the book where I try to get the reader to pause with me and, and try and grasp what I'm writing yeah. these, these stories are rolling off his tongue he did them all he lived it all we're regurgitating it now but that line in the movie is 100% true he, yeah. he's 17 He's with a hockey team with executives, coaches. They're they, they're picked up to play this in this senior game, which they win. And then he gets in this altercation with other guys. He is the only one that's kept. Yeah. Everybody else yeah. goes home, but he's not allowed to get back into his own country. Mm-hmm. That's where the line came from. He's detained overnight and until and the next day and then escorted to the bus station. You know, for this 900-kilometer bus ride home instead of the flight he was supposed to be on, yeah. and 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 has to go back. I mean, it's you you can't you can't even if you if the best Hollywood screenwriters sat down and said, let's put the craziest stuff in. Yeah. Oh, well, let's let's well, we should have maybe some gunfire. Well, you just heard that story. Yeah. We didn't even talk about the other <laughs> violent story that happened a couple years later. We probably saved a woman's life. There, there's let alone this one when yeah. he's 17. Let alone the countless others. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seventeen years old too, and to have that type nobody's of nobody's like, got this backstory. That type of like nobody uh, attention around you, like it must have been, felt like a circus. Like a, it was. I mean, it would have been pretty crazy. Well, yeah. But, you know, like like right now, like yes, I I can't I, I can't relate to it. Yeah. Like well, like uh, I just were you stressing out back then, or were you just like it was just another day at the office? I was just enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I mean, I'd be freaking out if oh, I got charged. Well, really? You know, I mean, like, right? right. <laughs> It'd be freaking right out if even one of these things happened. Yeah, even one of these. Like, I, 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 I fight. In a plane on a tarmac, it would be national news. That's, That's right, right, John. Exactly. Oh, it would yeah. be absolute first story CBC CTV national news in this country. Yeah. If, some, if a Canadian <laughs> resident, not only that, but underage, on top of that, who's a professional or who's well, he's playing senior at yeah. that time, but still senior. This is Allen Cup stuff. This is like the Allen Cup is the well, second I was, most. I, I was playing. Uh, I was still playing junior. You were still yeah. playing junior. You're so, junior age, but yeah. they brought you yeah. up for the Twins, right? Yeah. yeah. The so, Thunder Bay Twins were legendary. Five-time Allen Cup champions. So think like you know, if uh, someone from uh, you know Team Canada World Juniors type thing got yeah. into a fight on the tarmac, exactly. that would be yeah. massive. Yeah, massive imagine news. that today. <laughs> and this this is this is what happened to him. That's uh, that's insane. And then uh, I mean, I love I love this. This is uh, you, but you glossed over it. The, you saved a woman's life. 